Hello. Welcome to the Detroit Experience. Hi, Chloe. I'm an android, and I'll be your hostess. Oh, Before great. we begin, let's make some adjustments to optimize your experience. That's weird. These language settings were detected on your console. Are they correct? You're... You're scanning my console right now? Is that what you're doing right now? Because that's freaky as shit. Okay. English, yes. You got that right. Subtitles, yes. I do want those. Size can stay small. That was pretty good for the demo. Uh, you, Yeah, you nailed it, girl. Good job. Please adjust your screen settings. Sure thing, honey. Hold on. Let, let me pull up my video capture here for a second. Where <laughs> This is not how I expected this game to start. Hi, Connor. Keep changes, yes. Thank you. Now select your profile. Didn't I already when I signed up? Oh, I see. Oh, okay. So, I not signed up, I meant signed in. Well, we did the demo and experienced, so that means characters have a much higher chance of dying when I screw up, which is going to happen because this is a blind playthrough completely. And yeah! So swell, we're going experienced. When this sign is displayed, please do not turn off your console. Got it. I've played many video games. You are now games. ready to begin Detroit. Great. Remember, this is not just a story. This is our future. Okay. Creepy. Bye, Chloe. Hello, everybody. It's me again, and welcome to Detroit Become Human. And we're starting off with the level that I've already played. Great. But I actually want to do something differently with this, with this level. We are here with the full game now. A couple days late, but I explained that already in previous videos. So, yeah. We're here now with the full game. Part one. Heck yeah. And we're doing shit we've already done. So I'll cut through this as need be until we get to the actual, like, hostage talk down with Daniel. And uh, I'm actually going to do something slightly different this time. I want to see what happens. Hi. got to see my little girl. Do I look like I give a shit? <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, let's ask about... Sure. Let's ask Have you tried its deactivation code? It's the first thing we tried. Okay, sure thing. That's like... Has it experienced that's like the, 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 like, the tech support thing. They try all the basic things that you very obviously already tried before so even contacting them. Right now, or I'll take care of it. Have you tried turning it off and on again? 67%. I don't remember- ah, God, that scared me again! I'm not gonna accidentally take the gun this time. I'm going to purposefully take the gun this time. Very different. I'm going out. Yow, jeez, but I don't register pain, obviously. You see, like, again, I don't even register pain when he shoots me. But then he pulls the, like, concerned, compassionate look when he's like, I promise you won't be hurt if you let the girl go. It's so creepy. The only time he uses emotion is to trick him. To not be genuine. Which is what emotions are supposed to do. Hi, Daniel. It's freaky. Uh, my name is Connor. But it's really cool as well. Name. But I was wrong. She's just like all the other humans. Daniel, no. So this part of the cutscene lasts as long as it has to in order to exhaust the dialogue. That's awesome. Take notes, Ubisoft. I want everyone to leave. And I want a car. I think this is what I can do. When I'm outside the city, I'll let her go. This is what I can do. This is what I want to do. I brought this with me. I'm gonna use it this time. Boom. Yeah, that's that, that's what I wanted to do. If you intimidate him, you die. <laughs> they all die. So yeah, don't do that. <laughs> I did it. Software instability. I don't know if that was better or worse than what I did last time, but it's different, so yay. Also this. <laughs> it's so cool! Alright, well at least they got what we know out of the way, right? It's the first first level of the entire game. Ha! Huh. <laughs> that's still nerve-wracking. But okay, so that's done. And uh, welcome to Detroit Become Human, everybody. <sighs> Alright. So in case you didn't watch the demo, or any other gameplay for this, this is the scene's flowchart. Here you can review the paths you've taken, the paths yet to be explored, and what possibilities you've unlocked. Each node earns you points that you can spend in the ec- that, That's new. Thank you. Thank you. Why are they all in caps? Why do I get the feeling something's trying to talk to me right now? 
Due to the nature of this game, some nodes and endings will not be counted toward the completion of the... What does that mean? When I screw up and one of them dies? Yeah, I wouldn't expect to be rewarded for that, would I? <laughs> okay, that's a little different than what I did in the demo, and I wanted to showcase that. I wanted to try and get that, and I did. So, um, what's my software? What do people think of me? They're still skeptical. Okay, so 48% complete. I did less than half of the, the, the capabilities of that scene. That's crazy. But okay, so now we're officially moving to uncharted territory, and I am scared because until dawn, I made a really, really, really big mistake in the final chapter of Until Dawn that ate away at me for months. If you guys want to see what it is, go watch the finale video, or better yet, watch the whole series. I love that one. That's another one of my favorites I've done on this channel. It's time to officially start this game. November 5th. That was August 15th, right? Just a couple months later. Memory reset, reboot. Bio components, bio sensors. That's creepy. Oh. This is the top of the range household assistant. Hi. It cooks 10,000 different dishes. Come on, Zoe, let's go. 200 languages and dialects. Oh, and they're, they're put on display. That is so disturbing. Can I help? Can I do this? No, I can't. Okay. Hi. Yeah, dude, we're on display like a bunch of mannequins. This is so degrading. Oh, your range. I've got 7,900. You make androids that are as much like humans as possible. It comes with a two year warranty for parts and labor. That's so weird. There, him. I know you. I know you. <laughs> and there's Daniel. <laughs> there's Daniel. They just made another one? Oh, that's weird. That is so weird, and I don't like that. This is so degrading, though. You make... I don't like this guy. Oh, hi there. He's coming towards me. Okay, cool. Yeah. There it is. I'm Kara. It was a bit difficult getting it back in working order. Okay. It was really messed up. What'd you say happened to it again? You beat the shit out of me is what I you call did. It. Stupid accident. Uh -huh. Yeah, sure thing. See? Yeah. Anyway, Great. it's as good as new now, except that we had to reset it. Meaning we had to wipe its memory. Oh, so she I hope you don't mind. It'll be fine. Very good. Okay. Did you give it a name? My daughter did. AX400, register your name. Kara. My name is Kara. Creepy. Yeah, but like, you make these androids as humanly as possible, and then you take away the most fundamental part of being a human? Freedom? You know, it's- and then you give them the capacity, bug or not, for emotion. Which, of course, is when you let your emotions dictate your decisions, that's when the errors and the mistakes can happen. So it's like, that's a pretty big doo-doo, Cyberlife. I... and now I'm here to try and not make mistakes. But, yeah, so it's just, it's, it's interesting. They try to make things as human as possible, but then you take away freedom. Of course, that's not gonna go well, especially when you give them the capacity for emotion. Emotions plus lack of freedom doesn't mix magnets. Ugh. They don't go together. It's terrible. But, I mean, it's just, this, this game and what little I played it during the demo gave me so much to think about. And that's a sign of a game and a world well built. And I love the music too. God, it's just gorgeous. And I see now that they're waterproof. So that's nice. I lost my job because of androids. Help me. So the economy didn't really rebuild itself around the automation of everything. This is actually very relevant. There he is. <laughs> I was wondering when I'd see your name. Um, and it, it, it's still it's still relevant to what's happening in our world right now. You know, everyone's worried about automation, uh, taking jobs, and basically not not making things better. Would you like to go home now? 
Yes, Rose. Yes, I think that's enough. Paint shop, okay. Here. Let me help you. Oh. Oh, thank you, dear. So there are caretakers. There are housekeepers. There are babysitters. There's androids specifically built for everything, like custodial work, like this guy over here raking the leaves. This is fascinating in kind of a disturbing way. The android just follows you as you go on a jog. Weird. Okay, so can I interact with anybody? I would love to go around and talk to people. I would love to do that. Can I talk to you? Creepy robot watching the baby. I don't care! I want to talk to people! Damn it! <laughs> I must follow my protocol. You have run 12 miles and are 5 miles away from your goal. He just threw it at him. Wow, I hate people. What? Oh, okay. I thought he got up to say something to me. I want this done by four. God, they're just... I, I hate people so much. They look like people. They talk like people. They act like people. Treat them like fucking people. Oh, I can, I can jog. Wow, that's a capacity that Connor did not have. And by jog, I mean jog for about half a step, but still. I got it, GPS. Order number 847 at Bellini Paints. Am I on a ticking clock this time? No good. Oh, it, what? What the fuck, lady? Hey! Hey! I'm gonna go into my pre-recorded littering spiel. Keep our cities clean! You bet. Get up! Look away from your phone and look at me. Look at me. Littering. Wrong. Littering. No. Throwing shit on the ground. No. Trash cans. Recycle bins. Yes. Mmm. Yeah, you, this, these th things are built specifically to be slaves, of course. They're androids. And, like, they're just not being treated well. It, it's so upsetting. How can you look at something? I don't care if it's a human or not. But, oh, hello. I don't care if it's a human or not. It looks like a human. You treat it like a fucking human. And the fact that they don't is really upsetting. Well, I'm trying to watch the thing. Oh, what do we want? No androids. When do we want it now? Oh, God. We got families to feed. Place. Don't blame the androids! Oh, I, I feel so bad. I'm assuming Bellini is this way. Hello, pardon me. I should probably stick to one side, right? I'm a civil human being. Okay. This is like trying to get through Tomorrowland at Disneyland. They had to split it basically in half, so traffic going... Oh, I'm here. Okay. Traffic going into the park... Uh, it stays on the right side, and people exiting, not the park, but the land, uh, are on the left. And you would be amazed at how many people still don't obey those rules. Especially people with strollers. They're the bane of my existence. How people in this world feel about androids is how I feel about strollers in amusement parks. But okay. I understand that they're necessary. Double and triple strollers, though. You are the devil. All right. What was the number again? Identification verified. Oh, androids are running the stores and everything, too. I have two green eyes. What, when did I get a different colored eye, yo? Here is your order, number 847. Thank that you. That will be sixty-three ninety-nine. Please confirm payment. Okay, you could move your eyebrows a bit. Sure, I'll pay. Payment confirmed. That's weird. Transaction complete. I feel so bad for these things, but they creep me out at the same time. Oh, that's weird. No need for cards or anything the future my uh i showed my mom the demo for this game um just like the gameplay and everything and she she thought it was really cool um and then she was like man it'd be cool to have an android it's like of course we'd take good care and be nice to ours it's like true and then i was like well would you like want to pick a name for it would you prefer a girl or uh, a guy and she said she wants Cameron from Modern Family as an android. So we started coming up with scenarios like, 
you know, he's using a feather duster to clean the house or something, and all of a sudden, ah! Spider! <laughs> I thought that'd be fantastic. All right, so now I need to take the bus home. I am going to the bus station over there. You know what? I'm gonna take a dude turn. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go this way. I, have, I haven't been this way. Oh god, they have parking spots too. That's what they were doing. Okay. Space occupied. That's weird. Oh, that's so weird. We're literally treating them like machines. Lost my job because of Android help me. Yeah, this again, huh? You gonna say anything to me when I walk by? No. Okay. Well, damn it! Come on! I wanted to do a thing, but... Um... I will! I mean, I probably don't have any on me, right? But still, you look like you're freaking Starfleet. Alright, whatever. I would pay you if I could! Mental transaction! Nobody can steal that shit. But, yeah. God, I, I feel bad. I, I mean, I get why these people are upset, but at the same time, they're not being civil, and I hate it. They're literally- they're, they're treated like... conveniences. Like, machines. I wonder if it's possible to overclock an android. How would that work, I wonder? Yeah, 35% unemployment, millions out of work. That's a lot. Are we going to do something? Yeah. Even for America, that's a lot. We want jobs. We want jobs. Not more we androids. Want we, want we need to ban we androids want now. We want well, maybe from certain kinds of work, sure. Where the fuck you going, Tin Can? Hmm? I wanna punch you. No kidding. Hey guys, check it out. We got one of those tin cans here. Alright. What are you, the KKK of robots? Oh no! Look at this little motherfucker. You steal our jobs, but you can't even stand up! You pushed me! Oh my god, I hate you! Alright, come on. Let, let, let's get up. How do I get up? How do I get up? I can't move. Oh, that's L1. I completely- Ow! I blanked. I've been playing Xbox a lot, okay? I forgot what button L1 was. Come on, Marcus, get up. This is so degrading. I hate it. You ain't going anywhere. We're gonna fuck your bitch ass up. No! Waste it. Do it. Please don't. Alright. It's enough. Leave it alone. It's probably just because of how expensive it would be to replace me, right? I'm, I'm gonna have to I'm processing this. Thank you. Take you. your job next. I see how you like it. Okay. They do too. Connor. Let's go. Come along. It's probably just because of how expensive it would be to replace me or rebuild me or make a new one or whatever, right? It's the only reason you stepped in for me, I'm sure. Oh, that was so degrading. Oh, that's an eye opener for sure. Not even just for androids, but, you know, it's just, it's awful. Look at this, we're just on display. Oh, this is heartbreaking. Already, nothing's even happened yet, and this is, oh, this is awful. Can I jaywalk? <laughs> I'm gonna jaywalk. Okay, fine, don't let me jaywalk. I guess that's not in my programming. I don't know there's a street there. Uh, oh, the bus stops right here. Okay, cool. I'll wait for the bus. I forget what I was saying, too. I'm really into this world. Um, what was I saying? Right, Marcus seems pretty deadpan right now. Like, that emotion bug hasn't kicked in yet. God, we have our own buses, too. This is, like, all one giant metaphor for, like, segregation. It's crazy. It is! We're at the back of the bus! Oh my god. This is so wrong. They built us and yet they hate us. He's not one of us. That song fits pretty well for this, don't you think? Oh, Jesus. Okay, so there's options I can do there too? Shades of color. 
What are all the other things? Oh, I miss so much stuff. I didn't, I don't know what I'm doing, guys. This is my blind playthrough, okay? There was the giant sign thing that I looked at. And I forgot what button L1 was, okay? <laughs> Sue me. Can I go back and do that again? Or do I have to, like, wait until I beat the whole game and then I can replay missions as many times as I want? That's probably it, right? So I missed a bunch of stuff! That's upsetting. <laughs> Everything about that was just upsetting. Yeah, I can't. It doesn't give me the option to go back. The car is coming home. What's the little girl's name? I want to say it's Amy, but probably not, right? Wow, that place has seen better days. Oh, they're building an overpass over it, too? Mm. That place is going to be hard to sell. You can get out of the car now. There you go. So again, guys, this isn't going to be a full playthrough where I showcase everything. It's just going to be my very first playthrough. And it's just going to be my initial reaction to everything, okay? Maybe you coming? Yes, I'm coming, I'm coming. Maybe we'll go back and do another playthrough for, like, a live stream? That'd be cool. But wait, 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 that was a thing! Damn it! <laughs> she took one step too forward. Okay, fine, whatever. I know there's a thing there. You've been gone for two weeks, so the place is a mess. You do the housework, the washing, you cook the meals, and you take care of... God damn it, where the fuck's the brat gone now? Alice! Alice! I don't want those words in my vocabulary. Alice oh, is her name, that's right. That's Alice. You look after her. Homework, bath, all that crap. Got it? Yes, Todd. Get started down here, then you do upstairs. My memory was wiped. Hold R2. I got it. That's the one thing I actually do remember. That's the one button I do remember. So am I on a clock? I assume, I'm assuming I can take my time. So I'm gonna take my time. I'm gonna take my time. There's no hostage I need to worry about. It. I'm just gonna take my time. Until I know otherwise, I'm gonna take my time. Oh, my name appears on my back now. Optional test. Wash dishes, vacuum cleaner, something else. Um, okay. Yeah. Well, I have the dishes, so I'll just go ahead and wash them. He's on the phone. Maybe. Depends on what you need. Could that be the mother? I am listening. Yeah, yeah. I can get that. Alexa is listening to you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or it could be someone from his work. I'll bring it tomorrow. Um, that, is that, yeah, is that the dishwasher? I think it is. Tomorrow. Okay. Scan. Dishwasher not working! Right. I'm ordering a new one. I'm ordering a new piece. That's disturbing! Oh my god, okay. I'm gonna put the dishes down right here. TV on. Even in a crappy rundown house like this. What? Huh? What? What am I doing? Gig, 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 gig. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, got, I gotta do that, okay. I'm swiping the touchpad right now. Alright, that's immersion on a whole new level. I mean, it ain't VR immersion, but that's pretty cool. Hi, Alice. Something happened, and I don't remember. Yep. Well, say something! Creepy kid. Oh, she's happy. You won't be happy for long, so enjoy it while it lasts. Kara! Yes, Todd? Bring me a cold beer! Right away. Cold beer, that means fridge. Okay. There's beer. Get him beer. What are you doing looking over there, girl? Go on. Give him beer. Put down beer. I hate you. But there you go. L1. Yeah, there you go. So this is this is what you're supposed to do. He's watching the game. What are you looking at? Get the fuck out of here. What? Get the fuck out of here! I'll get back to work. 
I hate everyone in this world. <laughs> if it if it has flesh and blood, I hate it. Um, well, you know what? I'll, I'll clean your work. He told me to get out, but I'll clean it. You got a big mess here. Collect trash in the trash bin. Alright, so I suppose I'll just go get the trash bin then. Uh, right here. Right here. Take that. I'm just- I'm doing everything! If I have the option to do everything, I'm doing everything. If I miss it, who cares? It's blind playthrough, okay? I will take this. Um, I hope those are paper plates, dear. So you- you put the- the, the glass plates in the trash bin and not the ashtray? I feel like the ashtray can go, right? Oops, no, that's down. Okay, there you go. Oh, I'm standing in front of the TV. He's not gonna like that. Okay, never mind. I just expect him to yell at me for every little thing I do. <sighs> you know, I'm a pet slash house sitter in between my YouTubing. There's a lot of retired couples out here that go... Oh, hello. That, you know, go places a lot and travel. So I'm... The whole cleaning the dishes stuff. That's my real life thing, okay? Doing it in a video game? It's weird. <laughs> What's up, dear? Why can't I talk to you? Oh. She doesn't know what to say to me. She can't talk to me about what happened because I don't remember it. Take the trash out. I'm not seeing any more guys on my screen and it makes me <laughs> nervous. Okay, what's this? Credit card. Overdrawn. Past due. Todd Williams. Yeah, application rejected. For a credit card. Because you can't pay him back. Credit cards are so stupid. Because like, oh, you need to do a credit card for a good credit score. Wouldn't it be better if I just didn't get into the habit of paying with money I don't have? Wouldn't that just be the more responsible thing to do? I hate credit cards. But anyway, yeah, that's a thing. So, I mean, obviously by the look of this house... <laughs> Things aren't exactly going very well. Um, oh. I have more trash to collect, that's why. Okay. Got it. Did it. Pick up. Take out the trash. To the street. 4203. I can, I can change the camera angles many times. That is so cool and so cinematic. I got it. I just kind of changed the camera angle and I got confused, okay? In we go. Urgent tasks, really? Downtown, things will be great. Yeah, humans board at the front, androids board at the back. So upsetting. I bet this would open the eyes of a lot of people. If they were to play this game. They won't, but Fuck, man. best case scenario, they would. What's wrong? Well, I still gotta do laundry and shit, but... Oh, he, she keeps hiding. That's so disturbing. Finish first floor! Nope. I have laundry to do. Nope. Nope. I got laundry to do, I think. He said something about laundry. Uh, yeah. Oh, check backyard, activate vacuum cleaner. So I guess I don't have laundry to do. He said laundry, all right? I was paying attention to what he said, not that ding dong damn text alert. All right. What the holy hell is that? That better not be what I think it is. <laughs> Poor innocent little... Car will be corrupted, quite literally. Take- Oh, here's the laundry! I like laundry lines. Oh, he has a headache. I know what they're about, man. Hey! No, Carl, what the holy hell are you doing? Go back! Look at Bin! Pick up Bin! There you go. I don't, I'm not- I don't want to get into the habit of yelling at you, like everybody else, but listen to my controls, okay? I'm trying to help you. You can see the giant- Yeah, the giant- tractor thingy in the background. Can't you say hi to me, honey? Hi. Rewash? I mean, they're clean. What are you doing? Can I please talk to you? 
Oh, I can. Okay. Hello. Game Backyard Weather School. Um. Let's ask about. Let's play a game. You look bored. Would you like to play a game? Neutral. She doesn't want to play a game. She's not talking! Um. Weather. She doesn't care about the weather. Uh. Let, let's ask about school. Aren't you going to school today? She lost her friend, right? Okay, look, that that sound, that sound ain't great. All right, is our are our neighbors getting up to some kinky stuff? Oh God, you know what, Alice? Let's just uh, Alice, Kara, let's let's uh just you know get out of here as quickly as possible before you see something you don't want to see. See now again, for those of you that don't remember, there was the Kara tech demo back in 2013 that showcased her being built by Cyberlife. And I was hoping to God that that became a full game, and now five years later, it's here, and it looks better than ever. And when she was being built, and she goes into her whole spiel of her capabilities and stuff, she mentions that she is, uh, I forget the exact wording, but she is perfectly functional as a sexual partner. I wonder if that's still a thing. I wonder if they can still do that, or if, you know, since people apparently hate us so much that they would even want to. So, yeah, anyway, that's just worth noting. It's a question that I have. There's detergent. It's weird that I can tell what is stuff and all that, but just by take. Oh. The hell is. Oh, that's not good. Is that. Is that drugs? Red ice. Yup. That's drugs. Oh. You shouldn't mess around with my stuff. You shouldn't hide it in such a place where I'm gonna need it. I'm sorry, Don. You just stay the fuck out of my business. Unless you wanna piss me off. Sure thing. You wanna piss me off? No, Don. I already have, apparently, and I was gone for two weeks, so great. Yeah, uh, don't hide it in household house cleaning items if you're gonna make me, you know, clean your house! What is that shit fry your brain? Probably, right? Still. <gasps> Jerk. You hit it in a stupid place. It's not my fault that I found it. It was sticking halfway out of the powder, too. I hate you. Okay, so what else am I doing? Um, vacuum cleaner. Not reporting to Todd. Vacuum cleaner. I'm gonna do a good job. Not that I care about this asshole, but is that the vacuum cleaner? Is that the little Roomba? It's, uh, oh, sure, whatever. You told me to clean the place, I'm gonna clean the place. What is, what are you doing? Is that a headache? What are you doing? Hold on. Okay, so these are the only two angles I have right now. Oh, I see now. He is getting high right in front of me and his kid. This is unsettling and uncomfortable, and I don't like it. What, is that too hard for you? Do I have to do that for you, too? Fried brain, again. Okay. <laughs> She's playing with it. <laughs> Alice! You better stop that right now! Fuck off! Let her do it! Oh. Why is she always pushing me? Yeah, okay. Always pushing. Dude, what the hell are you doing? All right, that's it. Now I just, I'm done. I'm, I'm first floor. I'm done. Start but... down here. I'll head upstairs. Do what you have to do, but stop bothering me. Sure thing. Whatever you say. Oh, don't do another one. All right. Well, best case scenario, you have a seizure and die. <sighs> okay. Upstairs. Oh boy, I'm doing my job while doing my other job, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> That's weird. I suppose I should also say, um, oh god, there's a lot of stuff to do in here. What was that? Make the bed, clean all the mess, and ventilate the room. Todd's and Alice's room. Okay, cool. That's what I'm doing. But anyway, I suppose this is a few days late, um, the game itself, and also what I'm about to say. Um, 
Thank you guys so much. Androids are playing sports now, too. Basketball star Gary Gibbons interview. Cyberlife unveils Android quarterback. And they asked a human uh, sports star. That's we. That's one of the most high-paying jobs you can get, at least in the States. Let's do next. What does that mean? Oh. Oh, God, that's weird. It's multiple magazines in one issue. Or at least it's advertisements. I'm not sure. The quantum magnet that could scrub carbon from the air. Tech addict, the price of life, how driverless vehicles make life and death decisions. Okay, well, let's go back to the... I'm interested in the sports one. Okay. I'm interested in sports. Never thought I'd hear myself say that. American football has largely resisted the spread of Android players with top-tier games still an exclusively human affair. But that may be about to change following CyberLife's recent unveiling of technical demo quarterback 1000, an Android quarterback capable of throwing from end zone to end zone. Holy crap! That kind of, you know... Ruins the game? If you could just throw it from one end of the field to the other, boom, you're done. Interesting. Hitting a target six inches wide. <laughs> Better narrow down those goal posts. Kick posts, whatever they're called. I don't watch football. <laughs> the model is also programmed with over 1,500 plays from classics such as bootlegs and handoffs to more specialized maneuvers, all of which can be adapted in real time. Wow. Quarterback 1000 was revealed at a recent CyberLife ex exhibition in Detroit where the Android manufacturer showed a variety of prototypes designed to show the potential of bleeding edge technology. But while CyberLife's latest innovation has some fans drooling, Roy Kenstone, founder of the Anti-Android Fan Group, oh god, sees a sinister aspect. CyberLife know exactly what they're doing with this demonstration. They hope to distort our sport the same way they have all the others. Despite these reserva- it's a sport, dude. Despite these reservations, some consider this simply a matter of time, with basketball and baseball uh, already contemplating Android players, an LED sporting quarterback might be just around the corner. Nice. Let's read about self-driving cars now, if I can scan it properly. There we go. This is creepy. When a driverless vehicle foresees an accident, the car's computer makes life and death decisions. For example, deciding which of two pedestrians to hit but the exact process by which cars make these decisions is not very well understood. Martin Forlong of Crown Cars tries to clarify. In these situations, the car's imaging system gathers data to determine the pedestrian's age, gender, life expectancy, etc. in the blink of an eye. Creepy. This data is parsed. You can't even go by a crosswalk with cars waiting at the stoplight without your identity and your face getting on some weird-ass database. That's disturbing. This data is parsed through the public record to de- public- exactly what I was just talking about! To determine marital status, employment record, life expectancy, and whether they have children. The car then assigns a value to each possible victim based on criteria like their contribution to society. We put a premium on lives that will save other lives like doctors and nurses. That is crazy insane. This is fascinating! Oh, this may sound very reasonable. Hmm. But Felix Gamble, head of Anti-Automation anti League, god damn, says the system has no right to make such judgments. What did people do? Somebody with a criminal record is not necessarily less valuable to society than a doctor. Yeah. That kind of information is irrelevant to the sanctity of human life. Forlong dismisses such claims. We want our cars to make the best possible choices, and that means acting on the basis of all the information they can gather. The more the better. Well... Right, when it comes to two people, one of them's gonna get hit by a car, are you gonna go by, are you gonna swerve to avoid the doctor in the white coat, or are you gonna swerve to avoid the the criminal? You know, it's it's not an easy question to answer, and it's not an easy topic to discuss, but, and you know, we all like to tell ourselves that no, no, that's not the decision you make, that's not right, but... It doesn't mean it doesn't have a good point! Very, it, it's a very difficult topic to discuss, and I'm, I'm sure I've probably lost a couple subscribers with that one, but whatever, right? I, oh, pills. Pills here! Antidepressant. Risk of behavioral disorders. Mm, really? Oh yeah, put the antidepressants that could potentially make him more depressed and suicidal, put it next to the gun. All right, but I found the gun. It's in the drawer on the right side 
of the, the when you walk in it's on the right side god damn it okay I don't think I need to do that but let's see what's on TV god they don't even need to hit me buttons sports. first up basketball yo this is what we were reading about for the critical match with Denver tonight at the cyber life arena in Detroit league negotiations are still cyber ongoing has their own arena. Oh my god. allowing one Android player per squad debate rages as to whether the change would lead to more exciting matches or be the first step in making human players obsolete. I wouldn't think they'd Cyber make them more entertaining. They can throw the entire the ball the entire life length life of the field. Like, kind of defeats the purpose of the game, right? To train players and provide tactical advice for coaches since 2035. That's pretty good. But no Android player has been permitted to compete so far. <laughs> oh, a little animated movie. Oh, he's cute. I know, I got it. I'm just, I'm watching, okay? We'll leave it, we'll leave it on the kids thing for, uh, for, for Alice, even though this isn't her room, but whatever. Uh, make the bed. Doing a good job, car. Keep it up. I'm your cheerleader. Where are those androids to now? Ventilate the room, aka open the window. Window. That's weird. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of the reason why I didn't use motion controls for uh, uh, Until Dawn. They're pretty finicky. Just saying. And again, I tried to use them when I went back to do the They All Live trophy, and uh, <laughs> that didn't go well. What's the green thing? God, look at all the bottles of alcohol. Alcohol, drugs. This is a great environment for a little kid. What are those? Don't know, but whatever. They're cleaned up now. All right, so I'm done in here, right? No, I'm not done. I still have mess to clean up in here. So let's clean up the mess. More, more bills and stuff. Oh. What? Show it to me! Excuse me, can I look at it? What was that? You jerk. Why didn't you tell me what it was? Okay, well, Todd's room's done. Can I look at this weird sloth man thing? I don't know what the heck that is. But alright, let's go find Alice's room. Watch it. I wanna punch you so bad right now. I will clean the bathroom. I'm here, so I'll do it. That's terrible. It's like up. It's just basically like urbanized the entire area around uh, Carl's house because he refuses to sell the property. Ugh, it's the quickest I've ever cried in a Disney movie. For sure. Like, by far is up. That whole beginning montage of them being married and growing old together and stuff. Now, I've never seen The Notebook. That's probably why it hit me so hard, but good god. Huh. That was rough. I'm not into romances or anything, but just, you know, they genuinely loved each other. Hi, me. I am beautiful. Can I change the angle from here? No, I'm just looking at myself in a mirror really creepily. Okay. I will use this. Ah, oh, I see Swiffer dusters are the norm now. Doing this. <laughs> Keep it going, woman! Thank you. I'm gonna have to reapply my lipstick soon. It's already wearing off. This stuff is great, but it lasts not even an hour before you have to reapply. Did it! Okay, optional task done. Now let's do Alice's room with the crayons on the door because chillin' draw on everything. Hi! I just want to tidy up your room a little. Why is she scared of me? I need two minutes. Is that okay, Alice? I mean, if I was her fr What did I do? If I was her friend... Just 
just let me do my thing. I'm not gonna hurt you. And then just open the window. WAIT! Just kidding, I'm gonna talk to her first just in case I lose that opportunity. Okay. Oh, I'm not gonna talk, I'm just gonna look at her. Okay. Her little foxy. What does he say? Sorry. Couldn't resist. Yep. It's so weird. I, again, I didn't play until dawn with those controls, so. Windows open. Guns in the desk. Often beneficial. Did that. Now I can talk to her. Okay, so let's let's talk to her. Hi. Be friendly. I'm sure we used to be friends before I was reset. Maybe we can be friends again. Ask you should tell me about yourself. What you like to do, where you like to go, your favorite foods. That would really help me. Yeah, there you go. You're very quiet. I hope I don't scare you. I can ask her everything, okay. Um, that's quite what about your mother? Will she be home soon? I don't think, yeah. Damn it, I knew I shouldn't have asked that. Crap! She gave me a thing. What is it? Give me a thing. What is that? A key. Oh shit, wait, I know I, I remember that from the trailer. Where does that go? I remember that from the trailer. Where does that go? It goes in that box, doesn't it? It goes in the box. AW. That's Alice Williams, right? Open. Maybe look quickly before she comes back. Okay. I'm sure he's not hearing that music. For luck. I have a green four-leaf clover, like, fake plastic coin token thing I keep in my purse with me all the time. <laughs> There's the mom. When did she get brown hair? Weird. Okay. It's the happy family. Oh. Oh. What is that? Is that the mom? Did he beat the mom? Did he beat Alice? It's definitely Alice. He beats her. There you go. Oh, me. Oh, he beat me. Yeah, he hit me. That's me. He broke me. Alice was sad. Now Todd's a perceived threat, so I bet that'll go well, right? Alright, put it all back. I remember now, though. Thank you, Alice. Got it. Okay, wait, what's this? Look. Alice in Wonderland. How do you get to Wonderland? God, it's been a long time since I've seen that movie. That's a weird one, but it's good. I give myself very good advice, but I very seldom follow it. What am I doing? That's Todd, okay. Be patient is very good advice, but the waiting makes me curious. Uh-oh. What are you doing? She's playing. Uh, I'm playing. Playing? Yeah, the thing that kids do? I know what you're thinking. You think your dad's a lowlife? Huh? Fucking loser? No. Can't get a job? I mean, take yes, care of his family? Don't say yes. Don't you think I tried to make things work? Well, what do I do when someone you? comes along, they just fuck it all up! You hate me. Alice. You hate me, don't you? Say it! You hate me! I don't. God. What am I doing? 
His brain is fried, dude. I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know I love you, don't you? I don't think he's sorry. You know I love you. I think he tries to. I don't know. I don't know what to think. He's not cut out to have this kid, that's for sure. The drugs and the booze and all that shit. Oh my god, there was a lot of stuff to do there. Okay. Alright. Now let me look. Upload's still not done, so I can't check world stats, but... Secrets! Why? Okay, it's creepy! I feel like something's talking to me in my trophies here! Get out of my trophy collection! Don't touch the trophy collection! You can talk with Alice, but maybe you can get her to not trust you enough to give you the key? Maybe? I don't know. But I found the window, and I found the gun, so that's good. I will keep those in mind. Let's continue. Oh god, this is so good. When I'm not on a ticking clock the whole time, and I actually have a chance to take my time and enjoy myself, it's great!